Today we're going to hike Glenwood Glacier Path. It's 10 miles round trip. So you're gonna to come to the Manny Glacier Hotel, take a left, and you'll find the trailhead down that driveway. This is what the trailhead looks like. So you're looking for this sign, and then you walk further, and you'll see a sign here that will get you to Grinnell Glacier in 5.9 miles. The placards all say this should take us six hours for a hike. And so we just started about 10 minutes ago. This is the early part of the path. And we both anticipate it getting a lot more strenuous as we go along. We are taking a paved path around a beautiful lake at Manny Glacier Hotel. Here you can see the, the lake and the water is just unbelievably clear. It's still on the path to Glenel and it's gone from paved path to a muddy path but it's clear and reasonable still walking around the lake now we started a uh, little rougher path on the uphill incline and it's supposed to go up 1700 feet progressing on the trip we're about two miles in we're on the other side of a different lake. I'm sorry, I don't know the name of this lake off the top of my head. I'll try to post the name of it on the video. And you can take this boat ride that will shorten your trip about a mile and a half each way. Here's another view of the yet unnamed lake. But it is very, very picturesque. In the mountains the i don't know if it's going to come through on the video but the water is just unbelievably clear you can see the rocks underneath the water the trail is fairly narrow a little bit rugged and on a slight incline up all right we've gone a little over two miles into the trail it's still going up we're above the uh, the lake and it looks like the trail is turning away from the lake as it goes further up and into the forest. So it looks like we've come close to the end of the lake and you can see a river that feeds into the lake. This is all ice melt and snow melt. The guy down there fishing and uh, you can see how pretty and turquoise the water is from up here. I don't know if you can see him. I'll drop my water there. But all along this trail, they have these little squirrels. And these squirrels are acclimated to people being around. And they will steal your food. They'll get in your backpack. And uh, they are very opportunistic. And they're everywhere. And with the trail growing up on each side, they're all around you. You just don't know it. Down below, you can see, I think that's Grinnell Lake. Still going up. So as we walk along this trail, you have to be aware that there are bear in this part of the country. And uh, you have to carry bear spray. And you're supposed to make noise while you're on the trail. Since we've been on the trail, we've heard of two bears, one right beside the trail, and another one was a little ways away from the trail. We haven't seen either one, but you have to be, I guess you bear aware. <laughs> We're at Grinnell Lake. There's a waterfall right there. Pretty spectacular one. And then there's two right there. 
coming down. Very, very peaceful and quiet here. That's where we came from. And we're back on the trail again. As you can see, it's going up even farther. And we hear to get to the glacier that we've got to go behind a waterfall and across a uh, snow field. So Kathy's really looking forward to that. All right, so at about three and a half miles, they had a barricade that the, a warning that there was snow and ice and to be careful going forward. So we went past that. You can see people over here climbing across the ice there. And we're heading to these two waterfalls here. We'll make a decision on that snow when we get over there. So we made it up to the waterfall. Oh, look at that. What that animal was climbing up that snow. It's on behind the rocks. It looks like a seal. So I've crossed an ice field. There over here is where the sign was recommending that you stop. And so we continued on this path, crossed an ice field. I did. Kathy stayed at that waterfall in that area right there. And I'm gonna continue on to see where this glacier is, I hope. They tell me it's a mile and a half and 500 feet higher. Still going up. You can probably tell by my breath. This is the Glacier Valley right there. These two lakes we had to walk by to get here. It is still Rental Lake down there. I just realized and noticed this landslide right there. All that rock and soil had fallen off the side of this mountain at some point in time. So I've come up to another ice field, snow field, and I can cross that, but if you slip, it's going to hurt. And so it looks like there's a trail down here that will bypass it. And I'm going to probably do that to live for another day. Well, I'm continuing to walk uphill. I see my leaders up there. But I also notice I'm getting closer to those waterfalls we saw from a distance earlier in the video. All right, time for another update and a rest for Greg looking down on the falls. I don't know if you can see it. There's a line of hikers right there. They're coming up to this snow ledge right here. And I'm kind of eager to see what they do to get past this. Uh, most of those guys passed me and they're all experienced avid rock climbers and so i'm going to learn from their example it may be that's the end of the road i'm not sure all right so i'm watching a crew come back across the trail and there seems to be some footholds in it So it looks like it's passable. Yeah. There's two more little snow things you gotta cross. It looks like you gotta go across the third one. Right. But when you get to that, just stop short of it and look up, up to your right. There's okay. a switch back there you can catch. Okay. You can scramble up the hill and catch it. All right. So, this is the Grinnell Glacier, discovered in 1887 by. George Bird, it covers approximately 300 acres. <sighs> 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 
time for another update and a rest across this ice field here. Still going up probably about two tenths of a mile to the Grinnell Glacier Overlook. They say we're about 7,500 to 8,000 feet high. This is the actual Grinnell Glacier. And this is an overlook over the looking the glacier. All right, this is me going through an ice field. It's already got a trail marked on it, but it would definitely be bad if you slipped and fell. It's all the way downhill, a long ways. I'm headed back and it's much easier walking downhill than uphill. I'm not quite as winded but it does hurt your feet more. 